on the bank and on another fishing session. Um, it is now March and I am down at Cottonton's and I'm fishing new pepper and I managed to get peg 11 which gives you quite a good body of water peg 11 I think um, tons of options the island right out front there I'm already set up it is as Baker would say pretty quagmire out here yeah it's pretty muddy it's pretty decent um, the rods were already out I thought I was just going to get down there because it was it was briefly raining <clears throat> So the first thing I did was get the bivvy up and um, I thought oh, I'll just get it all set up first and then I'll come and talk to you two guys and ladies. Oh, one just jumped out over there. You can see that. Probably can't. <laughs> oh, it's good, good things to come. Yeah, so both rods are out. Um, I'll run through that with you now, shall I? Right hand rod. Zoom right out there. There's like, there's like the bay there. So my right hand rod, my left hand rod is in that bay there. And then just right of that goose is a point and my right hand rod is on that point there. And they're both rocking the TNT wafter from Steamy's combi D rig on both as usual because the rig just does your bites just does me bites anyway and now I'm all set up I'm gonna go and make myself a coffee and um, I'll catch up with you lovely people a bit later on night and been pretty quiet all day a bit bright Ooh. um but it's about 10 o'clock and um we rod when but oh. such an odd take as well wasn't ripping off almost almost like a bream kind of take so let's um should give her away so i don't know if you can see that but the sling has been taken off check the old fins are not bent back that's 24 and a half on the button only four and a half. And there we have it. 24 and a half pound. And that was cool. That was cool on the um, TNT from Steamies. I mean, um, and that was in the bay off the island left hand rod to think about that but have a look there we have it lovely great little start to the session so happy that I'm off the mark now and that was caught on my little multi combi um, D rig as well. Oh. Truly, truly happy with that. 24 and a half pound. Let's um, go for a different light. Got the warm one, let's go with the. Oh. There she is again. Oh, a little look. 
front view. What? I think we should put her back now. Yes. And off she goes. Oh, to fight again. Another day. Thank you for gracing my net. Same spot, same rod. We'll give her another little weight. Another, give her a weight. There's a double 24 pound. 24 pound. Two 24 pounds. Two. 24 pound and one ounce. It's another 20. Let's have a look, shall we? She lets me. She's pretty moody, this one. We ran out of chewed. I think so would I if I was um, pulled in at this time of morning. There you have it, people. Again, off the bay on the island, on the TNT, and on my little we combat. We combat, we combat, multi combi IQD or D rig. Get a little cheeky look on the other side. And there she is. Very nice, thank you very much. Right, let's put her back, shall we? Very much. Yes. Happy, happy angler right now. Yes. <laughs> oh, Carb number three. This time, yeah, pull my arm off. Commas do, do have a good little fight, I must admit. Definitely not the biggest one of the evening. It's about it's about half past five, I think, right now in the morning. And so, oh, you know what? That's, that's a, had a good, nice little session. It'd be nice to have some. Um, I must have some in the day. 18, 18 pound and a quarter. Quarter. Which is 18 pound common. Again, left hand rod in the bay on the island. Um, TNT baits from Steamies. Keep, keep plugging them, they do really well. That bait does really well on this lake, I must admit. There we are, cut number three. Beautiful little common. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, she goes again. Again, probably fight another day, as you. I think, turn this off. I think now, people, it is time for a coffee. It's been a busy night, I've had, I've had not much sleep, but I'm not complaining. I might even try and maybe get some sleep in the afternoon, maybe if you quiet down. Quiet, 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 quiet's down a bit. Morning, morning, morning. I thought I'd just do a little, little update, even though you've seen by now, what's gone on and how the first night's gone. And to be fair, 
I'm not going to complain. I literally put that common back an hour ago, maybe. And um, yeah, that's free overnight. That is pretty decent for the time of year, the venue we're fishing on. Not been the biggest, not considering what's in this lake. There's like a boatload of 30s in here and 40s. And I do assume there's some that's pushed 50 as well in here. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm happy what's gone on last night. All off that bay on the island. What I might do is the right hand rod that's been on the point has not really done nothing all night. So I might try and get that into the bay, obviously more to the right, the other rig. See if we can get both rods rocking. If not today, maybe tonight. The other thing as well, these geese, they're nocturnal. Mate, they've been up all night having outbursts. Not only have I been up catching carp, but they've been absolutely having it. It's like, it's like they've got threats or something. It's all quiet and all of a sudden they just go crazy. I think it's that time of year and it springs just around the corner and they're all getting randy. But yeah, so that's the plan today. I definitely think I might... There's a bit of fizzing going on there, actually. Not far from the, um, not far from the right-hand rod. It could go, you know. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to sit out the morning because obviously you do not want to move your rods this time of morning. It's like prime time fishing. Uh, I'm going to sit out the morning and then we might have a little move around by the afternoon. That's the plan. See you guys soon. <sighs> okay, so that's it. So 16 and a half wraps to the bay of the island opposite me. So like I said earlier, I'm moving my right hand rod into that bay as well. And we can see if we can get this rod rock and rolling as well with some carp on the bank. Right, let's get out there. The money that one. I get that line straight as possible. It's nice and calm today, so let's get that line sunk beneath the surface of the water. Looks good, mate. <laughs> that landed exactly where I wanted. That's you know when you cast it on the spot and you think that's the one. That's a bite right there. That's the feeling I got. So what? We'll let that line do its business for 10 minutes. Put the bobbin on and everything. So. Right hand rod's moved into the bay as well. The left hand rod is on the left hand side of the bay and the right's on the right hand side of the bay. So they're both on there and um, let's hope so. We can get both of them rods rocking. Right, that's it. Cheers. Okay, so I thought I'd just run through the, um, the bait and then how much bait I've been using. And um, yeah. So this is what I've been using. TNT, steamies, frozen boilies, and we've got 15 mils. So what I've been doing with them, I've been um, putting them in narrow, narrow size PVA mesh, and I've just been putting five of them and I've been hooking them onto <coughs> just the hook, but they have been soaked in <coughs> in the um, TNT booster liquid, rocket fuel as well. So they're being boosted with this. I'm going to use, put them in a pot, glug, glugging them up, marinated, so they've been doing. And then the actual D rig itself, I've been using the 16 mil steamies wafters. TNT. So all in all, I've been using all in all six boilies. That is it. Not a lot. I haven't been levering in loads of bait. I'm just basically just fishing for a bite. Because what I've heard from this place, this place is that they kind of they tend to get spooked off when it's a ton of bait. But I have heard that people have caught on on a lot of um, a lot of bait as well. So I've done well on how I'm fishing, so I'm just going to keep on fishing like I am. 
and um, yeah, that is it. If you um, if you haven't heard about these guys, give it a go. There's the old website there. Just a little plug for you lot guys. Go and check them out. And um, yeah, it's doing the business for me so far. Go and get some. My heart's pounding at the moment, so it seems a bit, a bit snagged. Oh, we're winning! We're winning! Yes, I got a little bit worried then. Just keep swimming straight towards me. So it was in the snag, so what it just did is just hold, hold on to get a steady pressure and um, yeah, it seemed to work. She popped straight back out. Now I've got to sort out the mess. The mess. Right, let's do it. Yes. This is carp number four. Do you know what? I've done a lot of, I did a few sessions at the end of the year, last year. And I always seem to get to carp three. And then it's the end of session. So, to get over three, you get four carp in a session. Pretty buzzing about that, to be fair. I seem to just catch three. Have a look, go and see some of the old, the old videos. Anyway, let's see how much this Cottonton's mirror weighs. It's got to be in the 20s again. No. 24.15, another 24, just under, just under 25 pound, oh, another 24, can't write it, this is a, this is a stunning, not stunning mirror this one, long, long, right, here we go people, me snagged up a bit, didn't you, girl? Oh, oh. Calm down. Come, on, come and show yourself to the. Oh, oh and there we have it, people. Oh. Still got a bit of energy in there. Whoop. Behave for us. There we go. 24.15 of Cottonton's mirror. What a stunning carp. Looks like she's blind in one eye. But beautiful. Again, the TNT baits from Steamies. It's doing me business really. Um, off the um, 
bay area up off the island. Again, usual spot. But here she is. So, so happy, chuffed for this one. She's gorgeous. Anyway, if you made it this far, please, if you're not already, come and follow the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. And um, if you fancy it, leave us a polite comment, you know, and um, yeah, oh, come and join the family. And if you already, uh, if you already followed the channel and part of the Wetlines family, much love from me. Really appreciate your support. And um, yeah, Ooh, happy about this one. Let's put it back. My back's hurting. Thank you, girl. Oh, thank you very much, darling. Oh, you handsome chap. Oh. It's nice to have a little daytime bite, to be fair. <laughs> Stunning. Off she goes. Yes. Come on. Morning, people. It's it's the final morning as well. Um, I'm in the process of cleaning up camp and um, yeah I'm pretty happy the way that the session went you know it's my first one of the year um, managed to bank three carp three of them being 24 and plus which is quite weird in itself and a common an 18 pound common and some change which as an angler I'm pretty grateful for that four carp in the bank no complaints from me um, yeah, so like I said, I'm just in the middle of packing up, um, looking forward to getting home and having a shower and spend a bit of time with the other half. That is it. So if you're, um, it's your first time viewing and watching this video, please come and support the channel. We're trying to um, get to 4,000 subs this year. So if you're new and you enjoyed this content, please go and hit that. Um, sub button and then hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more uploads and um, leave us a comment if you fancy it and a thumbs up if I'm not already just said that but yeah and if you're an existing sub and part of the wetlines family already thank you very much for sticking around and keep supporting us much much love from me really appreciate that and all the other fellas from the gang um, but yeah that is it for me. I will see you in the next one. And remember, keep those lines wet. Draw. <laughs>